Hi and welcome to a new video. Today I'm comparing a few CPU coolers. I got one for 8 pounds or around 10 dollars from China and I want to see how it performs compared to some other ones. The cooler came in a colorful box with some information on it. But my Chinese is not good enough so most of the information is useless for me. The cooler has two fans and it is set up as a push and pull configuration. It is made from aluminium and it has two copper heat pipes. We saw similar designs from more known companies already. It is compatible with wide range of CPUs and sockets. Also the specification states that it can cool down some higher end CPUs as well, like Intel's i7. The cooler arrived with some light damage, but it shouldn't affect the performance. Mounting the cooler was easy. There's a plastic bracket, but you mount to the motherboard using 4 plastic pins. After you just clip on the cooler to the bracket. I didn't have any trouble with it and it was fairly easy to do, so I would say it is a good design. I'm comparing the cooler to Cooler Master's TX3i and Intel's stock heatsink. The CPU I'm using is the first generation Intel i5-750. I will test the coolers when the CPU is overclocked to 3.5 GHz and on the stock speeds at 2.66 GHz. I will run two benchmarks, Prime95 and Unigy in Heaven, also, test the cooler while gaming. The game I choose is Battlefield 1, as it is a more CPU intense game. I'm using a GTX 750 Ti and 8GB of memory, and I will run the game at 1080p at medium settings. I know if I would use low settings and lower resolution, that will use the CPU more and generate more heat, but I wanted to test a more real life scenario, as at these settings I can get some nice and smooth gameplay, so you would probably use similar settings with a similar PC. I run Prime95 for 15 minutes. It is a benchmarking tool that will use your CPU at 100% load, so it is a good test for the coolers. I run Unigine Heaven for 15 minutes as well. It is a benchmark tool and it tests your whole system. And last, I was playing Battlefield 1 for 30 minutes. Every test was run twice on each cooler. First, when the CPU was running at stock speeds and second time when the CPU was overclocked. Also, I used my open test bench, so the airflow should be better than in a PC case, and the room temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. So let's see what results we got. The first test is Prime 95. The TX3i and the cooler from China was performing the same, and the stock heatsink was having trouble cooling down the CPU, and it couldn't keep up with the overclocked CPU, and it was thermal throttling. The second test is Unigine Heaven, and here comes the first surprise. The China cooler was performing better than the TX3i. It kept the CPU 3 to 4 degrees cooler than the TX3i. The last test was Battlefield 1, and again, I saw similar results like on the Unigine test. With the China cooler, we had lower temps. I assume it is because of the two fan configuration, so I decided to take one fan and run the tests again, but this time only with the overclocked CPU. And here comes the second surprise. The temps are almost the same like before, so the second fan doesn't mean too much, just making the cooler louder. I was pleasantly surprised with the performance of this China cooler. It was performing way over my expectations. I thought that it will perform much worse than the TX3i. My only complaint is the loudness. The fans are fairly loud and they run full speed at all the time. I mean it is not that bad if you have them in the case, but still it is much louder than the other two coolers. Would I recommend it? The cooler feels cheap, it is a bit loud, but it's easy to mount and the cooling performance is good. If you are on a budget and want to buy some OK cooler for a low price and you don't mind the fan noise, then go for it. You will not regret it at this price. Maybe you can remove the second fan permanently for less noise. It will not affect the performance that much anyways. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.